the lady spoke to them and said i will not harm you where are you from the children asked i am from heaven the beautiful lady replied what do you want of me lucia asked i came to ask you to come here for six consecutive months on the 13th day at the same hour i will tell you later who i am and what i want and i shall return here again a seventh time lucia said do you come from heaven and will i go to heaven yes you will go and jacinta as well francisco him too but he will have to say many rosaries then our lady asked do you wish to offer yourselves to god to endure all the suffering that he may please to send you as an act of reparation for the sins by which he is offended and to ask for the conversion of sinners yes we do answered the children you will have to suffer a lot but the grace of god will be your comfort then our lady opened her hands and from it an intense light departed and penetrated the children then our lady said recite the rosary every day to obtain the peace for the world and the end of the war the lady then began to rise moving towards the east until she disappeared and the news about the apparition began to spread throughout the place on june 13th there came about 50 people to the site of the apparition the children were praying the rosary as the first apparition the lightning came and immediately after that the beautiful lady on the home oak appeared what do you want from me asked lucia say the rosary every day to bring peace to the world and the end of the war i want you to come on the 13th of next month to pray the rosary every day and to learn to read later i will tell you what i want i would like to ask you to bring us to heaven said lucia i will take jacinta and francisco shortly but you will stay here for some time to come jesus wants to use you to make me known and loved he wishes to establish the devotion to my immaculate heart throughout the world i promise salvation to whoever embraces it these souls will be dear to god like flowers put by me to adorn his throne lucia asked will i stay here alone no my daughter are you suffering a great deal don't lose heart i will never forsake you my immaculate heart will be your refuge and the way that will lead you to god Then she opened her hands and gave her light on the children. Jacinta and Francisco seemed to be in the light that went up toward the sky, and Lucia in the light rays that spread on the earth. In front of the palm of the right hand of the lady, there was seen a heart surrounded by thorns that impaled it. The children understood that it was the immaculate heart of Mary, insulted from the sins of men. And then our lady asked for reparation. On July 13, the children recited the rosary with the crowd. As usual, they saw the light flash, then Our Lady on the home oak. This was the day when Our Lady gave the children three secrets. Lucia asked, "What do you want from me?" Our Lady answered, "I want you to come here on the 13th of next month to continue to pray the rosary every day in honor of Our Lady of the Rosary, in order to obtain peace for the world and the end of the war." because only she can help you continue to come here every month in october i will tell you who i am and what i want and i will perform a miracle for all to see and believe then lucia made some requests for sick people to which the lady replied that she would cure some but not others and also said that all must say the rosary to obtain such graces then our lady said sacrifice yourselves for sinners and say many times especially when you make some sacrifice as our lady spoke these words she stretched out her hands and bright rays came forth and penetrated into the earth at once the ground vanished and the children saw hell opened her hands once more as she had done the two previous months the rays appeared to penetrate the earth and we saw as it were a vast sea of fire plunged in this fire we saw the demons and the souls the latter were like transparent burning embers all black and or burnished bronze having human forms they were floating about in the conflagration now raised into the air by the flames which issued from within themselves together with great clouds of smoke 
Now they fell back on every side like sparks in huge fires without weight or equilibrium amid shrieks and groans of pain and despair which horrified us and made us tremble with fright. The demons were distinguished by their terrifying and repellent likeness to frightful and unknown animals, black and transparent like burning coals. That vision only lasted for a moment, thanks to our good heavenly mother, who at the first apparition had promised to take us to heaven. Without that, I think that we would have died of terror and fear. Then our lady told them, You have seen the hell, where the souls of poor sinners go. To save them, God wishes to establish in the world devotion to my Immaculate Heart. If what I say to you is done, many souls will be saved and there will be peace. The war is going to end, but if people do not cease offending God, a worse one will break out during the pontificate of Pius XI. When you see a knight illumined by an unknown light, know that this is the great sign given you by God that he is about to punish the world for its crimes by means of war, famine and persecutions of the Church and of the Holy Father.